do? What would happen if we tried to roll underwater? This is really messed up. Attempt to defy gravity. Ali, you don't understand how cool this is. And had a pirate Viking smackdown? Oh. Oh. Total oh, awesomeness. Yeah. Ali is crazy and cool at the same time. He thinks of stuff you'd never really come up with. I describe Jackson as funny, wild, and totally nuts. Hand me the banana and no one will get hurt. CJ is the ultimate in cool. Ah! He pushes everything to its limit, whereas I just want to see stuff explode. Ah! Dude, it's getting way too hot outside. You need to get some air conditioning in your car. I'm sick of sticking to your seats every time that I get up. What do you suggest we do? We at least need a steady flow of liquid at all times. Bring some water bottles, unscrew, drink. Problem solved. <laughs> Man, water runs out. We need an endless supply. We need nice, flowing liquids. Dude, what would happen if we tried to cool off with a trunk full of lemonade? All right, let's fill this bad boy up. OK, that's a that, that's a terrible idea, Jackson. Do you see this? <laughs> it's just tetanus waiting to happen. And you're going to drink out of that? Let me give you a few words to describe my trunk. Dirty. Nasty. Unsanitary. All right, well, here, let's we just gotta clean dust it, up. it off a little. Get the big trunks out. No, no, no. We can't clean this thing. Let's just lay something on top of it. Like plastic. We threw in a liner, and we're mixing all this stuff in. It's going great. And then, boom! Disaster strikes. Um, we have a leak. Where? A minor leak. It looks like a waterfall in my trunk. Ah! Uh, uh, OK, um, I think it's safe to say that this is a failure. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. There's a lot of room in there. We could there put is. a tank, fill it up with some lemonade, put some straws around it, and we get all refreshed. Hey, lab dude, bring the stuff. See, whenever we need anything, we just hit up our lab dudes, and they get it done. Lift from the knees. So Ollie thinks of this genius idea to put, like, a tank in the front of the car. Yeah. Lemonade time, baby. Yeah. Woo! Dude, we could drive for days with this 80 gallons of lemonade. I hope this works. No, it's like a straw. Hey, Jackson, guess what? what? Shotgun. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. So we put our seatbelts on, and I wasn't sure if the tank would even hold lemonade or if the straws would even work. Let's hit the road and see if we can stay cool. Oh, hey! Ali, try the straw. Does it work? It works! It actually worked! It works! It works! Hey. Take some! Take some! Oh! Lemonade! Oh, oh my God, show lemonade! lemonade. So we had these crazy cool straws that were connecting from the tank to us, and we were driving, sipping the lemonade at the same time. Lemonade! Then I needed to actually use my brakes. I'm convinced it was actually mixing it better. Everything that we wanted to go right went perfect. All right, now this was a refreshing idea. Lemonade victory! Ah, Dude, so you still have no AC in your whip. And it's too hot in there. There's never going to be AC. Problemo. Problem solved. What if we filled your car to the brim with the water? Brim. And we will submerge you in the water. And then you drive underwater. Dudes, what would happen if we filled CJ's car with water and try to drive it? We'll make it a mobile beach. Fill her up. Do you guys fully comprehend they're going to fill my car with 8,000 pounds of water? Man, that's two elephants. Or one and a half morbidly obese elephants. Dude, if this thing can even move, that would be cool. But I doubt it. This car has seen me through my darkest days. So I have all the faith in this car. Uh. It's wet. Why is it wet? OK, let me tell you, getting into a car when it's filled with water is super weird. Right now, there's 7,132 pounds of water in there. My friends are totally the coolest male maids I know. By that, I mean mermaid in man form. All right, so does it feel like you guys are in the ocean? It feels like we're in the ocean. Yeah, 
feels like I'm in a car filled with water. Are we missing something? And before they try to drive this thing, I need to give them the last piece to their aquatic experience. Some giant fish. Yeah, it's like a fish. <laughs> Suddenly, all I saw were these fish come in. This is a giant fish. I'm not afraid of fish. It's just when fish surprise me. That's when I get a little scared. It's a baby. Hi, little guy. Attack him. Attack him. Just to be clear, no fish nor dudes were harmed in the making of this. This was my whip, so I knew this car was not going to let us down. Come on, brother man. Let's do it. And then we stop. Gas it up. Gas break dip. Come on, oh, we're doing it. It's working. <laughs> See, this is off the hook. It's working. <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> it's working. We're actually driving underwater. Yeah. <laughs> When you're inside of water, you tend to lift up a little bit, so I had to kind of hold myself down with the steering wheel. It was very strenuous, but this was amazing. You guys have fishes, you guys are underwater, and we're moving. This is hectic. My boys did it! We filled the car with 8,000 pounds of water and then drove it down the street. And it kept my boys cool. Yeah. Oh. We did it! Yeah. You guys did it! Yeah. You did we it! Did it. That was the most awesome thing I've ever seen. Dude, that was intense, but a little bit bumpy. So why don't we just modify and kick back? Dude, check my car out. So with some minor surgery to my car, I now have a convertible that was being filled with fresh water. So we can just sit back, ride, and relax. Nice. Dude, what would happen if we turned CJ's car into a mobile hot tub? We'll find some chicks, too. Hey, how you doing? Want to get in? Go ahead, Jackson. Why don't you get in for me? It's really cold. Oh! oh. How you doing? It's How that so cold. cold. I don't know if they're pumping that water in from Alaska. It's like a step down from ice. But something needs to change if we're going to be cruising in that. I'm not getting back in this thing until it's warm, man. I'll get it warm. I got it. Leave it to Ali to come to the rescue. Maybe it's just me, but I think it's going to take a lot of flame throwing to change the temperature in this car. Make this thing a hot tub, Ali. So we have my car. We fill it up with water. We wanted to make it a mobile hot tub so we can kick back and make it cool. And Jackson goes in to test it. It was so cold in there. And he's like, I'm not staying in here. Leave it to Ali to come to the rescue. Make this thing a hot tub, Ali. <laughs> so I'm blasting CJ's car with my flamethrower. I mean, that thing is hot. That paint is chipping. The car is smoking. The water's boiling. Ah! Oh. <laughs> All right. Check, Check out, out my car. Oh, that's, oh. That's, that's, that's about perfect, Dude, right? That's amazing. So we went over to test the water, and it was perfect hot tub temperature. Oh, it feels good in here. Yeah. Nice and hot. Bring on the ladies. We did it. We turned our car into a hot tub. To another great experiment. Hey, ladies. How are you doing? They want to get in. <laughs> so, dude, what would happen if we tried to cool off with a trunk full of lemonade? Sweet success. What would happen if we filled CJ's car with water and tried to drive it? It's working! <laughs> One awesome beach cruiser. And dude, what would happen if we turned CJ's car into a mobile hot tub? <laughs> One hot whip. <laughs> dude, you know what's whack? What's whack? Gravity. Well, <laughs> Gravity keeps us on the ground. How is that whack? It's the one thing that we've never been able to beat. We want to fly. We want to defy gravity. What if we took helium balloons? <laughs> and then attach things to them, so then they could fly. Like what? Penguins. 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 I've always felt bad for penguins, because right before they're about to get attacked from a seal, they always try to flap. All right, so listen. Let's get a bunch of helium balloons 
and a giant penguin. Let's see if that can defy gravity. So in order to get this done, we had to find the biggest place we can to fit all these balloons. And what says big place better than a ranch? I think with all these balloons, we can defy gravity. Oh, hey, <laughs> his name is Sam. So our first order of business was to fly Sam the penguin. How heavy is he? He's about eight, maybe 8.7 pounds. All right, so if he right. really weighs 8.7 pounds, then each balloon would have to carry precisely about 1.385 18-point magnumus. The mastication Jackson's of the math was exactly that. It was Jackson's math. Only he understood it. Should equal the exact kind of helium. Hey, hey, it's Get penguin poo. Hey, it's penguin poo. I'm not messing around. <laughs> he just picked it up. So I saw the horse poo, and I decided to pick it up and call it penguin poo and just chase the guys. They didn't like it much, but I thought it was really funny. It says penguin poo. I, I will throw a rock at you. Hey, Mr. Penguin, do you want to fly? <laughs> oh, he's part monkey. Balloons are tricky. They don't have any strength, so it's going to be hard trying to fly something. And we knew one balloon wasn't going to work. So we decided to use 13 balloons. He is so going to fly. Bye-bye, Sam. All right, dude, what would happen if we tried to fly a penguin using 13 helium balloons? I know penguins don't fly, but today, you have hope. Come on, guys, let's do this. <laughs> oh, he's gone. He's flying for sure. Yes, he's oh, Sam. Bye-bye, Sam. I salute you, sir. We strapped those balloons to him, and we gave him the gift of flight. <laughs> All right, so Sam got some height, right? Yeah. What's bigger that we can fly? I have an idea. We're going to fly a whale. Whales live underwater? What's as big as a whale but can breathe? Sumo! Sumo. 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 What's going on, my man? Oh! <laughs> that was uncalled for. I want to see a sumo fly. He weighs 325 pounds, and we have 375 balloons. It's going to work. Think so? And I'm thinking, are we even going to be able to fly this guy? So we harnessed him up. Hey, what are you doing? That harness was tight, and it was tight. Tight. Ugh. Awkward. You ready to fly? Yeah. We need you to fly, Mr. Sumo. We need you to fly. Dudes, what would happen if we tried to lift the Sumo using 375 helium balloons? Sumo testing! Ah! Ah! Hold him up, push him up! At first, Sumo wasn't really lifting up into the air. <laughs> Jackson gave him that boost that he needed. <laughs> He gave him the gift of flight. Yeah. 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 We hoisted him up. We can lift the sumo. Yeah. We made a sumo weightless. Yes. yes. So he was from flying sumo. We really wanted to see something fly. So if 375 balloons made Mr. Sumo weightless, then who knows how high they take me. So I stepped up. <laughs> Ollie, you are going to soar. Soar like an eagle. Soar like a cold sore that you can't stop nubbing at with your tongue. That's S-O-R-E. Yeah, no, but it, it sounds the same in, in the context, you know? My, my point say. is, you are going to fly, Ollie. Okay, well, we're using the same amount of balloons we use for Mr. Sumo on you, and you weigh about 200 pounds less than he does. Yeah. So you might be taking a little trip here. Uh, I'm ready for a trip. Because you, you, you might be in France by the time we finish with Man, this. I got to give it to Ali. That boy was ready to fly. All right, let's get you in the air. Dude, what would happen if we tried to fly Ali using 375 helium balloons? Whoa. Let's go. What would happen if we tried to fly Ollie with 375 helium balloons? Whoa. Let's go! 
<laughs> Yo, Flay! Yo, Flay! As soon as we let him go, he took off into the air. Look! Yes! Look at him! As soon as they let me go, I started to fly in higher and higher. I was in shock. Like, I couldn't say anything in the beginning. I was really excited. Hey, 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 it's flying! Yeah. Dude, it's the best view ever! I see everything! I see everything! Oh, you flying! <laughs> Felt great flying. I just wanted to take the harness off and just fly, but I couldn't. I mean, we actually made our buddy fly. So, dude, what would happen if we tried to fly a penguin using 13 helium balloons? <laughs> lift off! Dude, what would happen if we tried to lift a sumo using 375 helium balloons? Uh, air sumo! And, dude, what would happen if we tried to fly Ali using 375 helium balloons? It's flying! A high flying success. By the power of Thor! Ah! What in the world, dude? Dude, nothing's crazier than a Viking. Nothing's crazier than you. You know what's crazier? What's crazier? Pirate. No way, not at all. All right, well, let's put them to the test then. All right. Dude, what would happen in a battle between pirates and Vikings? Which group can cause more damage to the other? All right, so let's use a Viking catapult. It's way more new age, you know? But first, so let's use a pirate cannon that's upgraded, so it's more high tech, right? And we'll totally attack a Viking. Mm -hmm. So we roll up in this open field, and we have a pirate cannon, and we have this Viking. It looked like he was almost taunting us. Vikings are pretty tough. I don't know if we can take this guy out. Check this cannon. It's cannon, man. Look at Look this. At oh, this Look isn't just any cannon. This is a pirate cannon. So will this pirate cannon annihilate this Viking? Oh, yes. The biggest this ever is getting your own stuff thrown out. That is so disrespectful. All right, I'm going to annihilate that Viking with this giant piece of ham. Yeah, because we all know Vikings like ham. So we were going to use our pirate cannon to shoot this Viking stuff at this moving Viking dude. This looks like a winner. Do you want a bite before we aim it? I do not. I'm good. I'm a vegetarian. Jackson and Ollie loaded up my cannon with a ham, and I took a shot at it. Are you actually going to hit it? I don't know if CJ can get him. I'm going to do my best. How do you mess up by that much? All right, give me another bone. Here we go! Load it up. I needed one more shot of that Viking. I had to come through for my guys. Dude, CJ has to nail it this time. We're running out of ham. Oh! <laughs> Why? Ah! All right, I blew it, so I'm going to let uh, Jackson try this one. Dude, I'm going to nail this Viking. Force-fed that Viking that ham, whether he liked it or not. <laughs> yes! Victory is ours! So I saw the guy was moving, and I knew now was the time. So I pressed that button, and it shot off his head! Arr! I think it's time we give the Viking catapult a shot. I feel more Viking already. It was definitely cool to devastate that Viking like that, but now it was time to devastate the pirates by destroying an entire pirate armada, which actually looked like my little brother's toy boats. You guys see this giant, awesome catapult we have here? The new age catapult? Dude, we should name it. Hammer of Thor. The Hammer of Thor. I like that. All right, so what are we gonna launch at this fleet? What do pirates always have? Beards. And treasure! So then we load up the treasure chest, and that thing was heavy. We're gonna sink some ships. Hard! We're shooting pirate stuff at pirates using a Viking catapult. Activate the catapult! Three, two, one! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Oh! That treasure chest overshot that armada. Not one ship went down. So close! 
All right, so we missed the pirate ships entirely. Yeah, we need something bigger. So then we load up the canoe, and I'm thinking, this thing is so big, it has to hit the ship. By the power of Thor, I deem thee the pirate We've been trying to destroy a pirate armada using pirate ammunition with a Viking air catapult to see who would win a battle between pirates and Vikings. Three, two, two one. one! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. We've shot two pirate things and not one boat has sunk. You're so weak. Man. I don't know if Vikings can take pirates out at this point. So... We need something with some more mass. Back in the day, pirates were pretty lazy, just always chilling out on, like, fat couches and stuff. So we loaded up a huge couch onto the catapult. Man, there's no way that the Armada can survive this. Ah! 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 Sofa was flying through the air, and there were pieces breaking apart from it, going everywhere. Ah! and it landed right on the pirate armada. It was so gnarly. That was amazing. <laughs> Dude, that totally proves it. Pirate Vikings tie. We will pillage them. So, dude, what would happen in a battle between pirates and Vikings? It's the tie. So today, we learn how to keep cool by turning CJ's car into a mobile beach. Figured out how to defy gravity by using helium balloons. And proved when it comes to causing destruction, pirates and Vikings are equal. <laughs>